Lost control, let me to you can back and forth. Hello, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on this Frigidaire professional fridges. My customer's complaint was that the unit is not working properly. So there was two technicians from our company a couple of days ago. They came here, look at the unit that was not working. Uh, they cleaned the condenser coils, but the customer called back again after a couple of days saying that the unit is, is still not working the way it's supposed to work. So, here's the unit. Uh, to check the leakage on the, uh, leak in the system, we are going to pull the unit out and we are going to take some of the food out from here, which is already clean here. I'll take these uh, shelvings off and I'll get to the evaporator coils and see how the frost patterns is. So I can put this one here. This one. This is big, very generous, I think I made a wall so they can move. So these screws, we are going to take all of these off from the top four of them. From bottom there is two, uh, three, and then there is at the middle two of them. They are Robertson. In order to take this panel off, we also have to uh, take one of these uh, side uh, plastic for shelving holders. Um, and those are Phillips. You can always mark this if you don't know which way it goes because if you flip it the shelving will not uh, set properly and you will have problems so you can always use a pencil to mark it and if it sits like that just mark it down here so there's three ways we can check for the leakage and the in the unit if you got seal system problem the first thing and the e very easiest way to find if we have leak in the system is to get rid of the front panel get to the back of the panel see how the frost is and the evaporator coils if the evaporator is full of frost then we know we have the frost issue but if you have just a little bit frost build up from here and here you can see we got just a little bit frost build up so it can uh, cool down the unit a little bit we know we have problem with uh, with seal system here. The the freon has leaked in it, or it's low on freon. That's why we do not have full frost here. We got a little bit here, so that's the one one way to check the uh, frost pattern for the leakage. And the second way, if you can get to the um, evaporator, you don't have easy access. You don't have to do this. You can always get to the compressor. Use a, use a piercing valve to check the pressure on the compressor. Or you can also use your amperage, uh, the, the, your multimeter to go get the amperage reading from it. So now I know that there is leak in the system. I confirmed it by looking at the frost pattern here. Um, the second we are gonna try is from the from the compressor. The cap plate is off already. That makes our job easier. But I'll check here. Under the fridge, that's my compressor, and the lines that are coming out from the compressor is the yellow and white. I have my clamp meter to get the amperage reading from it already, and if it's drawing more than one amp, or it's between one amp, 1.2, 1.3, uh, up to 1.7. Uh, I do not have any leak in the system, but if it's drawing less than one amp then that tells me that we have leak in the system so 
that's another way of checking the leakage. See, it's uh, reading uh, 0.443. It's not even one amp. So that's also telling me that we have leak in the system. So I confirm that we have leak in the system. In order to fix the leak, we have to replace the evaporator. Um, we are gonna have to pull the whole unit out, both of them together. Uh, Sometimes they have trim piece, which is this one. The trim piece goes around the top and to the sides. These trim pieces need to come off. Uh, both units, we are gonna add sliders here and the customer decided to fix it the unit out, um, recover the freon that's left in the unit and then after that we can do our weldings, replace the evaporator, the dryer filter, um, vacuum it, recharge it and that will take care of the problem. Thank you for watching my videos. If you guys have any questions please comment below and those, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.